It's time for Live in Tallahassee. Local events, local businesses, local groups, your friends and neighbors on TV. Live in Tallahassee is brought to you by Proctor Acura. Florida Osteopathic Medical Association, Miller's Ale House, and Prism TV by CenturyLink. Welcome to Live in Tallahassee. We're here outside of Miller's Ale House Restaurant. Uh, one of the best places to be if you want to watch some sports. And we've got a lot of sports going on right now. We've got hockey, we've got basketball, we've got baseball, lots. And almost 200 screens in there if you want to watch some sporting events. That is so true. And Howard, along with Joel Silver here as we enter another exciting week. We recap what you have seen happen in Tallahassee and now move on in the end of the show to what's coming up. So, what are we going to talk about this week, And I got to tell you, this week is everybody from this past weekend was talking about one thing, and that was the spring game weekend. Yes, I think that was a, kind of a big deal in town, yes. a little bit. Garnet and gold. Garnet and gold, the garnet versus the gold in the game, but there were so many events surrounding it that we've actually had to dedicate a large portion of the show to this event because this is where everybody was, I right, think. Right, as we should. That's what we should do. Yeah. Good call. And thank you. Good call, director. Good see, call. Yeah. see, every once in a while, Anna has something nice to say. Every, every every now and again. She, that's very special. Yeah. But we start now with the beginning of the spring game weekend. And it involved beer at Brewfest oh. and a bunch of partying at the downtown get down Imagine with that. the boosters at the Booster Appreciation Party. All right. Take a look at this. Hello, Live in Tallahassee beer fans! You know, on Live in Tallahassee, we cover a great deal of important events, distinguished events happening around this city, important people and all the like, but this one's very simple, folks. This one's about beer and filling up little beer glasses like this one, just like that one, and they're doing a great job. Now, to cover an event this size, I can't do it on my own, so we're going to have a team of reporters here, starting with community leader and beer expert, Lance Lozano. Here we are, live in Tallahassee at the University Center Club at Beer Fest 2013. I have Rachel with me. She's going to talk a little bit about how much fun we're having tonight. We're having a great time. We've actually been here since 3 o'clock setting up. Um, we're here till 9, so it's getting a little tiring, but it's been a steady crowd the whole time. Um, the money we're raising here is going to a really good cause. We've seen a lot of people, a lot of brewers, a lot of distributors. Everyone's having fun. People have been here for two and a half, going to be three hours soon. So It sounds like a great time, and it looks like everybody's having a blast. We're here with Mike from Proof bar and brewery. He's going to tell us a little bit about what they've been doing tonight and the type of beer they have there at Proof Brewery here locally here in Tallahassee. Yeah, well, we're located on 1717 West Tennessee Street. You can't miss us. We're right next to the Chick-fil-A. We got 50 beers on tap. Uh, we've been brewing since last year, since last March. We're putting out some really good brew out there. Big, hoppy, West Coast style beers. And people that love beer, love proof. We, uh, we have 50 beers on tap. Can't miss us. Really great place. You need to check it out, Tallahassee. Come and visit Proof Brewing Company here locally in Tallahassee. Down by the river in the full We'll be falling in love in the middle of the night. Just move and slow. Summer lager. Spend the whole night through. It feels so good to be. We're back in Mexico. We have Addy and Danielle here live in Tallahassee. We're going to talk a little bit about Mexico. We've got beers from all over the uh, the country here, and Addy's going to tell us a little bit about them. Hi, we're here um, at the Beer Fest, Seminole Student Boosters. All proceeds um, will be benefiting. We have Corona and Negra Modelo and Modelo beer. Is everybody having a good time here tonight, Danielle? We're all having a great time. We have great music playing. We have food going on. It smells really good. We're all having a really good time here. Really good. Who doesn't want to go to Mexico, folks? Who doesn't want to go to Mexico? Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like the sound. 
southbound train. I said, hey. Remember this guy from last year, this is Sam Gilbert. He won Best Home Brew here at this competition and this is a fundraiser. We'll let him talk to you a little bit about what's going on here tonight. Hey there, thanks for coming out. Well, uh, Capital City Beer Fest, uh, it's really grown, grown in the last couple years. As you can see, it's a little bit more cozy. We brought it indoors due to the weather. Um, I'd also like to thank John Galanti. He's one of the main organizers of this event and he really does a great job with it, as you can see as well. Also IMG and the UCC for hosting us. We appreciate Appreciate that greatly. Awesome, thanks so much. As you can tell, as a winner, he's had a few tonight. <laughs> it don't matter if we fish forever and the reds don't bite. Well, we jump in the cover and cool ourselves from the heat of the night. Down in the stars where the cool grass grows. And that's it! That's how we do it! Fruit Fest style! It was an incredible party and everybody apparently having a good time. That's it from the Universe Center! We'll see you next year! Spend the whole night through. So a fun weekend had by all for the spring weekend, spring oh, game. Oh my, we Brew were out fest. there. The weather was beautiful that yep. day today. A little warm. A little warm. So I think, Ann, in the next segment we go inside. Right, and cool we, off. we do the rest of the show from the bar. I agree. Do you agree? <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. But we have more to show you. Like I said, when we come back, we're going to have highlights from the actual spring game. We're going to take you to some other stuff that happened during the weekend. Stay tuned. Live in Tallahassee resumes right after this break with our message from Proctor Acura. Whether you're enjoying our comfortable guest lounges or letting us get you where you need to go, at Proctor Acura, we're driven by convenience. The Proctor dealerships in the people business for over 100 years. First was cable, then satellite. Now, CenturyLink introduces Prism, TV that's simply brilliant. Search shows fast with an interactive guide. Let's go, go. Access photos right on your flat screen. You can even watch and record up to four shows at once, pause, and play back in any room. This is TV worth switching for. CenturyLink Prism. See TV in a whole new light. Welcome back to Live in Tallahassee, coming to you from Miller's Ale House, still here in the center of, I think it's about 1 million televisions. Or Is that? Just about 200. <laughs> okay, it might, that might be closer to right. 200. But it, there's Millions a lot. Of pixels. Best place to watch sports in this entire city. And uh, check it out. And we thank Miller's Ale House for always being a part of our show. Yep. That all being said, and speaking of sports, Anne, I think it's time we go back to the spring game weekend and, uh, you know, again, when you get into football season in this town, everybody is so excited. Really? And they were, yes, and really, and they were fired up uh, this past weekend because it wasn't officially football season, but it it's was little, football little, in spring. A little nibble. A little tiny nibble. Snippet. So, uh, Smidgen. I know you were excited about Small the big dose. Garnet and Gold game. Garnet and Gold game. All right, so let's take a look. Highlights. And my campaign manager here, Jerry, as he called himself, reached out to the Seminole Nation and said, hey, let's support one of our players. And it actually humbled me to see how strong of support the Seminole Nation gave me and voted. It was amazing. I spent 28 years here, and I have to say that every minute of it was, a, was living out the dream and my passion.
a game that unites all of us Seminoles and delights all of us who love our university. Exceptional individuals are chosen for the honor. You, Coach, are the exceptional individual who will light the spear this afternoon. I mean, I love the ceremony behind it. It really brings the Seminole Nation, it brings it to light and how strong that the spirit really is in the unconquered nation. semester here it's football season in the spring oh it, it's Florida State that's what, what it's all about I mean I went to school here my kids come here now to all the ball games we have all season tickets we come to every home game we make away games my wife's a converted Gator except for the Florida Florida State game but look at her she's wearing her garden gold except for except for orange and blue weekend she does wear orange and blue so it's a family tradition we're here for spring weekend every season so it, it's a uh, way of life. It right, we're at the Booster Appreciation Party talking to boosters about their involvement in sports and FSU. And tell me, uh, who are you, sir, and uh, why are you here? Stephen Watkins Jr. from Pensacola. I've been a booster for 16 years. And this is a great event. When all the Seminoles get together, it just gives you a warm feeling all over. Go Nose. You were hearing the music, the band's playing, the cheerleaders are here. How do you feel about FSU football? We're going to do pretty good this year. We got a new quarterback, and uh, I'd like to see Winston get the starting job, but uh, whoever get it, we'll be fine this year. All right, some early predictions on Absolutely. the position there. And what is this? What? Raiders? Come on. Raiders. Do we have Oak, the... Oak Town. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeff, and I'm a Seminole booster. I'm Cindy, and I'm a Seminole Booster. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I'm a Seminole Booster. I am Barry, I am THE Seminole Booster. No, no! Being a Seminole Booster is like being on the field. You know, you want to be there every time, you watch every play, you feel the spirit of the game, and the camaraderie, and all the stuff that goes with it. We love the Seminoles, we want you to be one of us. This is the interview that we have been looking for. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got Jay here, and Jay is coordinating the Seminole Booster Spring Tour around the state of Florida, and that's exciting stuff. It really is, and it gives us an opportunity as Seminole Boosters to really showcase the success of Florida State Athletics, and we get to feature Jimbo Fisher, Gene Deckroff all over the southeast, and especially in Florida, but we're also even going into Atlanta, Georgia this year, and it's so exciting right now to be a Florida State Seminole. We hope everybody around the state and the southeast will join us. Everybody really does feel good. I mean, this it is, is uh, it's a great feeling that things that are happening are going to be good. Well, Coach Fisher has a vision of energy, excitement, and passion, and, and we as Seminole fans need to come out and support and hear him live each and every stop that our Seminole fans have a chance to and really encourage him and support what he's trying to do to bring a national championship back to Florida State. Sounds to me like we need to get Coach Fisher on our show because that's what we're about. Let's do this. Energy, excitement. Right. Coach Fisher, we're coming to find you. The 
Seminole spirit is reverberating through this place. Look who I found. What is your name and how much of a Seminole fan are you? I'm Ava Ruth Johnson and I went with Florida State College for women. Oh man. Tell me why the Seminoles are so special. Why FSU is so special. Bowden. Bobby Bowden is my buddy. Tell me, tell me how Florida State University has changed over the years. Oh my goodness, it'll never be the same. It'll never be the same. My name is Ava Ruth Johnson, and I started with the boosters at Florida State University, but I went when it was Florida State College for Women. Football season is coming and everybody couldn't be any happier. From the downtown block party at Payment Plaza. Bye-bye. Our Acura certified master technicians are dedicated to caring for your car. At Proctor Acura, we're driven by trust the Proctor dealerships in the people business for over 100 years. excited about football uh, well you know the schedule this year is a little bit different but you know the whole experience is what makes up for it it's Friday night look at me man I've got a cigar a beer I'm loving it we got live music tomorrow we got the spring game and then we got baseball after that I can't wait fall's gonna be even better man it's gonna be a blast and this is just how the boosters do it right man I'm telling you I have loved being a booster. I've been in Missouri for the past few years, donating from afar. I'm back in town. It is a blast. Guys, get here. I'm telling you, people down in Orlando, Tampa, come up, man. It is a blast. It is a good time. You will enjoy yourself here. Wow, what he said. We're coming live from the Valley Square, baby. Go Nose! <laughs>
get down tonight. Let's everybody have a good time and let's party tonight. Let's do it. Walk color, baby. Loving FSU it. football. We've been here nine years straight, and uh, we're looking forward to more to come. So, go Noles, fourth go Noles. Kid, fourth kid to graduate, right here. Yeah. In December. My name's Anna. Go Noles. Go Noles. live in Tallahassee now on the sidelines back at Joe Campbell Stadium and it feels like football season but it's springtime. This is an exciting exciting day because this is the spring game. The Garnet versus the Gold and we are having a fantastic time here. I can't cover this event myself either. Let's go to guest field correspondent Pam Bauer. Live from Tallahassee, we're at the Spring Garnet and Gold game. We've got Renegade, we've got the cheerleaders, and of course the FSU Fighting Seminoles. They're looking good. And today, a day like today, it's a beautiful spring day, and your team wins either way, I think it's a 10. football but it was still exciting to see all the big players back out Brad Johnson Charlie Ward and everybody and everybody had a great time check out what Charlie Ward had to say well being honored in a circular goal was a great honor uh, to be a part of and I'm grateful that uh, they recognize me for my efforts here at Florida State and you know it's just, just a tremendous blessing to be able to see a lot of different people that I uh, made a had a great impact on my career here all right, and now back to Pam Bauer for another interview. Live in Tallahassee, we're proud to be talking to Mr. Everett Brown here at the Garnet and Gold game. Tell us a little bit about what, what brings you back to Tallahassee. Well, I love coming back to Tallahassee. Any opportunity I can get, you know, coming for the spring game, you know, you're going to get a, a great environment with the fans. You're going to get, you know, Hotel Duval, and, you know, it's just great. I mean, it's, it's first class, you know, best hotel in Tallahassee. You know, I enjoy staying there, and I stay, I've been staying there, you know, for the past three years coming back to the spring game. Thank you, Mr. Brown. We appreciate you staying at Hotel Duval, making us look good. If you're looking for a place to party Friday night, then the only option is Stetson. It's Stetson's Ladies' Night, where ladies 21 plus are in free till midnight. We've also got $2 drinks and long necks on tap till 11 to get your night started right. The DJs will have a hot mix of country dance tracks along with the ever-popular booty breaks. Also, check out the Mechanical Bull and Karaoke Sing Along. Friday night is Stetson's. Stetson's. For more information, connect or call 222-MOON. Whether you're enjoying our comfortable guest lounges or letting us get you where you need to go, at Proctor Acura, we're driven by convenience. The Proctor dealerships in the people business for over 100 years. Welcome back to Live in Tallahassee. Ann Howard rejoins us in just a few minutes with some upcoming events coming out to our fine city. But we start with the most exciting one, 
and it's this coming weekend. Look who's joining us, everybody. Jen Alba from Children's Home Society. And there's only one thing you need to know about this weekend, and that is the Chef's Sampler. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. It's the 28th annual Chef Sampler. It's Tallahassee's tastiest tradition for 28 years. Mm, I like it. Yeah. And all the proceeds go to support local kids here in Tallahassee and the Big Ben. All right. If you haven't been to this event yet, you make sure you understand, they just line the whole hallway there, the whole thing all these different restaurants, all this different food, and the money goes to the Children's Home Society. Absolutely, and last year with the proceeds, we were able to help over 4,300 children and families, and that's keeping kids safe from abuse, helping them heal from abuse, and strengthening families. Jen Alba, Thank tell you. us the time one more time and where it is. It's Sunday, April 21st, Tallahassee Mall from seven to nine. Tickets are available for purchase um, this week at our Children's Home Society building from eight to five or at the door. Hello, LIT viewers. I have something exciting to tell you about. My name is Michael Espada. I'm the director of ticket sales at Florida State University and Seminole Boosters. On April 20th, Saturday, from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., we have a free event for family, kids, and everyone to come on out right here on Bobby Bowden Field. Inflatables, cheerleaders, a performance by the Marching Chiefs, free events, free prizes for everybody to come out and enjoy it. We want to see you all here. Friday night, tomorrow night. And I know you're excited about this. I am. It's the Red Cross Gala Cocktails and Camo with your MC, Joel Silver. Wow, they got you to do that again? Yes, take a how look at the information it? on your screen. Cocktails and Camo, be sure to do that. So, Anne, how excited are you to see me and Camo? Uh, wow, well, I don't know if that's the word, but yeah, I, I do want to see it. It's gonna be it's gonna be quite a sight. So we got a lot of folks this weekend that you need to support that we've told you about here. We told you about the Red Cross, a great, great group. We told you about Children's Home Society, great, great group. And, uh, and get out there and help these groups in our community that uh, do such great, wonderful things. All right, so I guess that's all we've got for today. That is all. That's all the Ann Howard you get for the week. That's right. And I love you, Tallahassee. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching live in Tallahassee. For the entire team, this is your announcer, John Summers, saying good night and be sure to visit us on Facebook.